Here we have 5m to the 4, m to the negative 2, over 25, m to the negative 2, m to the negative 5. So let's get started. And right away, I'm actually going to combine the m's and the n's together. So here we, we're dividing the m's. Well, basically we're dividing everything because it's a fraction. So we're going to subtract exponents. So we have m to the 4 minus negative 2. And the n's. We have n to the negative 2 minus negative 5. Because we had negative 5 down below. Oh, that was an ugly n. <laughs> there we go. 5 over 25. We can simplify this to 1 over 5. So here at the top we just have a 1. I won't even bother writing it. And 4 minus negative 2 will be 6, because that's equivalent to 4 plus 2, times n, negative 2 minus negative 5 is equivalent to positive 3, because that's negative 2 plus 5, which is also equivalent to 5 minus 2. 3. All over the 5. So that's also equivalent to 1 fifth times m to the 6 n to the 3. But I prefer to answer it like that. You can ask your teacher how he prefers you to, to really answer this, um, this question. Anyways, so here we have 32 x to the 7 y to the 7 all over 4, x to the negative 2, y to the negative 3. So again, I'm going to right away combine the exponents of the variables. So 7 minus negative 2 is what we have here, because we're dividing. When we divide, we subtract the exponents. Times y to the 7 minus negative 3, because that's the exponent down at the bottom. 32 over 4 is 8. x to the 7 minus negative 2. 7 minus negative 2 is equivalent to 7 plus 2, which is just 9, times y. 7 minus negative 3 is equivalent to 7 plus 3, which is just 10. So this whole thing here is equivalent to 8x to the 9, y to the 10. That's it.